Welcome back, Outlaws. On today's episode, we're going to be making a walking stick for a friend who's going on a special journey. He will be coming out west and joining me in the desert to retrace his roots. After knowing this, I'd remembered pruning a tree, a tree that his brother had planted. I took a branch that I had cut off the tree and I decided to make my friend a walking stick. This is the mesquite tree that his brother Tim planted and this is the one that I made the stick from. I thought that while he was on his journey retracing his roots, a walking stick made from this tree would be a good place to start. The mesquite is a really hard wood and will make a really good walking stick and will also last forever. As you can see right here, this piece was in the fire pit. It almost didn't make it. It was actually on fire in the fire pit and I pulled it out just in time. Now that we have this burned off section cut off, it should be just cut to length. Here's one last look at it before we get all the bark pulled off and it starts to look like a walking stick. This should be close to be comfortable for my friend. If not, we can always take a little bit off the bottom. Now we start the process of removing the bark. There's really no easy way to do it. Some bark sticks tighter than others. This happens to be one of those barks that you can peel off in long strips. Hopefully all of them come off the same way. Now that all the bark's been removed, let's get it cleaned up. We're gonna get a file and get some of those rough edges taken off and get it to the disc sander.
using the disc portion of the sander, I moved over to the belt. A part of the stick caught on the edge of the belt and ripped it. It flew off and then cut my hand. A piece flew off and hit me in the face, but luckily I was wearing my goggles. Always remember your safety equipment. Looks like Tucker approves, and we're ready for the next step in the process of making this lightning stick. Now that it's all sanded and smooth, it's ready for the next step. We'll be applying a solution of baking soda and water. This solution consists of two tablespoons of baking soda to one quart of water. The purpose for applying this solution to the wood is so that the surface of the wood will become conductive. At this point, a word of caution is advised. I will be using approximately 15,000 volts to burn lightning patterns into this wood, known as fractal patterns. Several people die every year using these devices. The wood must absorb the solution for at least five minutes for it to become conductive. And then you must reapply it as it dries out. As you can see here, I've started a test burn to see if I have the formula correct. It appears that it seems to work well. So I'm going to continue on with this formula and do the rest of the burn.
Now that we're done with our burn, it's time to get this thing rinsed off. The best way to do that is under running water with a soft bristle brush. I'm using a brass brush here to get all of the ash out so it doesn't stain the wood. Now my friend will never be alone in any journey that he takes. He will always be with his brother and I in spirit. Let's get this protected with a little oil. I'm using teak oil because that's what I had laying around. It should work just fine to keep this thing protected. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching.